Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module six, lesson eight. And in this lesson, students are going to be continuing to practice their counting up to 120. The idea is, though, when we get beyond that 100, we're going to be using only tens and ones, meaning we want students to connect 100 to 10 tens. So when we're filling things into the place value chart, we're going to use 10 tens rather than 100. So we're not going to go into that third place value column. We're going to stick to the 10 tens idea and call it 10 tens and 5 would be 105, right? No. We shouldn't say and a high five. We should say 105. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing. So let's get started. So what we've got going here is it says write the number as tens and ones in the place value chart. So uh, parents and teachers, th these lessons are beautifully sequenced to gradually remove scaffolding, increase the complexity. For example, we used to do concrete, then pictorial. Now, in this lesson, we're jumping straight to the abstract of just numbers and, and place value charts. If your students are struggling with the abstract, go up back one step and reintroduce pictures. Don't go back one lesson. Stick with this lesson. But for the students who are struggling with the meaning of 81, go ahead and go back to pictures. Use pictorials uh, representations. And if that's still not enough, Give them base 10 blocks. The idea is stick with this lesson, and if you do need to provide support, use pictures or concrete instead of just the abstract. Okay, so that enough, enough said. So how are we going to model 81? We want the students to recognize that 81 is 8 tens and 1 1. Uh, 98, we want them to recognize that 98 is nine tens and eight ones, all right? So I'm gonna skip down to E for a moment. So we want, well, let's do uh, C, because it is beautifully sequenced here. Because now what they're doing, even though the number gets a little confusing, they're kind of giving us the answer and telling us what number gave us this place value chart. So we see the eight tens, nine tens, now we have 11 tens. Really, I kind of wish we had D next before C. So let's do D. So we have 8 tens, 9 tens, 10 tens. So instead of 98 or in the 90s, we're now in the hundreds. So this is going to be what? It's going to be 108. 108 because we have 10 tens and an 8. So 108. Uh, parents and teachers, remember, we're going to be trying to say 108, not 108, although that is perfectly fine. There is no rule, and I know mathematicians will say, no, the word and means a decimal point. No, that's not true. Uh, we like to say that, uh, but no, we could say 108. In fact, here's what we it would look like, 108. So uh, we just... We just prefer, by convention, to not say the word and. We want to say 108, not 108. So what would C look like? Well, if we have 11 tens and 7 ones, so we had 8, 9, 10. Now we're at 11 tens plus 7 ones. So that's going to be 117. All right. Um, I'm going to skip these two because this is just kind of more of the same. But down here, we are adding to the complexity. They've removed some of the scaffolding, the place value chart. Now we have to go straight from the description to the number. Nine tens, two ones, that's 92. Oh, let's say um, 10 tens and one one. 10 tens, one one is 101. All right. Oh, let's say, let's go to B. Eight tens, four ones. Eight tens, four ones gives us 84. All right, that's the idea for question two. 
Now here, this is beautiful. Students need to just match. And they could go either direction. They could start here and find the match on the right, or they could start on the right and find the match on the left, or both. Uh, how, how beautiful is that? I love it. So I see, hey, nine tens, five ones, nine tens, five ones. Boom, that's a quickie. I'm just going to connect those right there. Um, how about, ooh, how about, let's do ten tens, two ones. Well, we learned that ten tens is a hundred. So we have a hundred, two. So where do we see 102? Hey, right here, there's 102. So let's connect that. Boom, right there. And that's the idea for this problem. Oh, let's see, what's a, what's a tricky one? Oh, a tricky one might be 11 tens and four, four ones. So 11 tens, four ones. Hey, it's right here, 11 tens, four ones. So we can connect that right there. And I'm going to leave the rest of this for you parents and teachers to work with your kids. And that wraps up first grade module six, lesson eight. The idea is we're counting to 10, but we're talking about tens and ones. So tens and ones with that key idea knowing that 10 tens is equal to 100.